Everdell is a gorgeous game and probably on a lot of people's top five of the most beautiful art in board gaming. But not only that, it's one of my favorite games because of the gameplay. It's so solid and satisfying. It even comes with a huge uh, tree uh, that it sets up in the middle of the board as you're playing. And uh, you know it holds various event cards and holds a lot of your little creatures um, because everybody gets to choose one of different animal creatures or forest critters to be in the game. And it's a very anthropomorphic uh, you know, type of game where everybody's like working in a city or a town called Everdell. The cards that you can get and play even from the main board are all locations or people um, that represent, you know, what is going on in their little town. And so it could be like a library or the university or someone's house, you know. And so there's all, all sorts of stuff going on just with how the cards are and designed. The artwork here is amazing. Uh, essentially what you're doing through the game is placing your critters on various spots around the board to collect berries and twigs and amber and various things like that. Uh, and then spending those to then build these cards, which as I said, represent various locations that you can also have. So everyone's slowly building kind of a tableau of up to 15 cards in their own little town. The game does take place over three seasons. Um, and with each passing season, meaning you've placed all your guys out, you get to collect those guys back and some new ones from the, uh, the tree. And so slowly you gain more critters to use in the game. And you'll get points for the cards that you've built, uh, the points tokens that you might have collected, and various other things. Um, there's a lot going on, but it's essentially on your turn, you're either going to play a card or place a worker or one of your critters to an action space and take an action. Um, there's several expansions that have now come out for Everdell, uh, I believe up to three, maybe even four now. Uh, I have made a tutorial video if you're interested to just have it taught to you fully on video. The first three expansions are covered in that tutorial fully. So if uh, you want to include those in your game, those are awesome and I recommend them. But just the base game itself or the collector's edition, either one, they're excellent games, a lot of fun to play. The game plays in about an hour and a half, maybe longer for your first game to get to know the rules. Uh, this is one of my favorites, especially uh, of worker placement category of games. So check it out.